ladies, it's time for your weekly recap. Week two of the girls league and it was definitely an interesting and amazing week. Let's go over the winners of the week. So to talk about the first winner who also gets the Everybody Hates You award for highest scoring team is your very own 50 Shades of Slay with 142.5 points. Boy, Matt Bryant really showed up this week to help me get that great win. Hmm, Dan Bailey and the Cowboys. Not very good. Sorry, Amanda. So, let's move on. The next winner, very surprisingly won. And I mean, I'm so shocked her team did that good. Thanks very much. <laughs> I mean, 125 points. I think she had like 60 last week and then like doubled her score this week. That's amazing. So, sorry, Jandy. Um, her team really showed up against you. So, the next winner is Oriental Thugs. The only the only 2-0 team this, this week. <laughs> she beat Bay Bay, which means they were the game. So, sad to say, baby is going to be spinning the wheel. The next winner is Caught Red Hernandez. You know, last week she pooped in her big girl panties. Well, she took those panties off and washed them and got a clean pair on because she won this week. And she beat Dinah. Show us your TDs. And then Yo Padrian got herself a win. Team didn't score very much, but it didn't matter because Jen's team pooped in her big girl panties. So, Lynn, even though your team didn't score that much, Jen's did a lot worse. So, you got that win. Sorry, Jen. Gotta clean your panties this week. So, joining us live to talk about all the matchups from week two. She's live from Fantasy Football Headquarters. Our very own Laura Golden, thank you very much, is joining us live. So, Laura, welcome. Thank you. I'm so happy to be on the YouTube. <laughs> yes, it is. You are on the YouTube. So, Laura, why don't you give us your analysis of the games this week, week two of the Girls League? Well, one thing I think was very apparent to most of the teams was that these quarterbacks were not for, like not scoring enough points for us. I mean, where was Aaron Rodgers? Where was Russell Wilson? Where was, I don't know, who else was there? <laughs> who else did play? Well, I know Derek Carr showed up. Well, Tom Brady showed up, but none of else of Amanda's team showed up. I just noticed maybe it was just my team, my quarterback didn't show up. <laughs> well, thankfully, the rest of your team showed up because you did. You were second highest scoring this week. I know. Can you believe it? Um, um, Laura, you aren't on the screen. I'm right here. Oh, okay. Well, make sure you, you don't just keep falling off the screen and then just your forehead showing. But one thing I know is I moved up all the way up to number three. Thank you very much. Yes, you did. Speaking of and that, go ahead. Here's to number one, and I think uh, I'll be winning the Halloween bet this this year again. Yes, let's talk about that, our annual Girls League Halloween bet. And this year we have recruited another person. So Sarah Bailey is now in the Halloween bet. So Bay Bay. But at this point, I mean, it's kind of crazy because number one is Susan, the only 2 and O team, Oriental Thugs. Number two is your very own Fifty Shades of Slay. Number three this week Thank you very much is now converted to banging your bro since she's playing Julia. And then number four is Bebe. So the four girls in the
the Halloween bet are neck and neck. It's anybody's game to win that Halloween bet. And I think, and I think the girls league, the Memphis chapter is really representing this year. Yes, yes, we are. Top four from the Memphis chapter, we definitely yes. are. Because number five is Eat, Drink, and Dee Murray, Amanda. Number six, Julia Cotred Hernandez, our Michigan chapter. Number seven. Yeah, Huh? Our chapter of one. Chapter of one. <laughs> but still our chapter in Michigan. Number seven is Nellie's Motorboats. Jandy. Number eight, Suck My Dicka, Jen. Number nine, Yo Padrian, Lynn. And number ten, Show Us Your TDs. Our only 0-2 team. Sorry, Dinah. Our champ from last year. Um, we she... don't feel sorry for you. <laughs> We sort of do, but we sort of don't. So you're following in Jandy's footsteps. She went from champion to to the VJJ. So, uh, Dinah, hopefully you don't do the same thing this year. So, yeah, so interesting in the rankings. I mean, there's a 2-0 and team and an 0-2 and team, and everybody else is 1-1. One and one. So, I mean, at this point, it could be anybody's. Anybody's. It could be mine. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Um, we'll see. We shall see. So let's talk about the game of the week. The game of the week is whoever's playing Lynn, and that is Bailey. So Bailey's Bailey. <laughs> Bay -Bay spinning the wheel, and now she's game of the week again. So Bailey, hopefully um, you, I mean, I know Lynn wants to win, but We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, cousin versus cousin this week. And Thursday Night Football, who is that, Laura? Uh, it would be the San Francisco 49ers versus the uh, Los Angeles Rams. Go, girly. Get me Go hide. Go get me some points, girly. Well, let's just hope hide and girly just run all over the place this week. So, ladies, check your lineups um, and get your people in. The waiver wire was crazy this week, wasn't it, Laura? It was lots of activity. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Laura, we'd like to thank you for joining us live uh, all the way from Fantasy Football Headquarters. And, ladies, good luck this week. <laughs>